Lesson three, perimeter and circumference. All right, so perimeter, you guys, is just what's the length of the total outside, right? So you're like walking around the figure and you're going to add it all up. All right, so you might want to highlight or consider highlighting to make sure you get every single edge. You don't have to, but it is helpful. So I have a nine, all right, and then I have plus 15, right, et cetera, plus nine, plus three. So you're walking the whole thing, plus five, plus eight, plus five, plus four, and that gets us around that whole like U shape. <clears throat> Anybody got that for me? Cade, what'd you get? 58. You guys agree? Anybody agree? All right, thank you. All right, and we get 58. Okay, and then you want to notice your dimensions. Okay, perimeter is always just in inches or centimeters. Okay, if it's squared, that means area. Cubed is volume. All right. Now they're going to start like leaving stuff off. It's really nice of them. All right, and we still have to find the perimeter of these. And you can do it even without finding each individual piece. It's pretty cool. All right, so here I've got my 9 and I've got my 15. And I've got my 10, and then I'm like, oh, uh, okay. What is this plus this plus this equal to, Amira? Yes. All right, so we don't even need to know the breakdown, okay? I just know the total of the bottom <clears throat> has to equal the total of those top three pieces. Now, I might need to break this down a little bit, though, because I don't know this piece here. And so I might need to do some mathing to figure it out. Anyone have a guess as to how we could figure this out? Um, Eli. Uh, so the way you can figure it out is uh, subtract um, five from ten. Wait, no, no, sorry. You're on the right track. Oh, uh, subtract uh, nine from ten and then add that back to five. So it's there you go. All right. Do you guys agree that these are the same, the five and the five, right? And then I know this height is nine and this is ten, so I have one little guy right there, which means that that piece is six. All right. What people tend to forget are these insides of the, this lovely U shape. All right. So we need a plus six and a plus five. Somebody tally that up for me. Myla? 60 what? Do you guys agree? Okay. <laughs> Great. All right. There you go. All right. Here's another one where we just like have missing stuff. Okay. And we need to find the perimeter. So we're going to walk along the edge and I'm like, all right, this is 40 plus this guy right here is 30. And who knows what to do from here? Um, Eli in the front. <laughs> yeah. You guys agree that this plus this is equal to what, everyone? 30. Yep, it's another 30. And then again, this plus this equals the bottom. All right, awesome. So what is that? 140? I think it's 140. All right, cool. Thanks. There you go. Perimeter. All right, circumference is similar to per, uh, perimeter, <clears throat> only it's for a circle. Okay, so we're just like adding up the length of the distance around the circle. And so this little distance from here to here is the radius, and this distance from here to here is the diameter, which is always twice the radius, which you guys probably remember from pre-algebra. All right. Um, so where does pi come from, in case you like wanted to know? It's actually the exact number of times the diameter goes around the circle. So let's say I took a piece of string. I took that piece of string, all right, and I wrapped it one two, three, point one four times, okay? So if you were to take the diameter and measure it and actually take it around the circle, it will always be in that same ratio, 3.14 times around. That's where pi comes from, okay? Uh, our formula for circumference that you can use, you can use 2 pi r or d pi, or pi d, I guess. It doesn't really matter, all right? 2 pi r or d pi. You guys remember that? Easy peasy, okay. 
The radius of a circle is 3 centimeters. Find the circumference of the circle. Really, I'm just going to show you this for what you need to show on your homework, okay, or a test. I would like to see the formula every time, all right? Circumference equals 2 pi r. So then I'm just going to plug in the radius. And then my answer is 6 pi. And we would want to put our units in centimeters. You never have to multiply out pi. Remember when you had to do that in pre-algebra and it was like the saddest thing ever? You had to multiply by 3, 3 1, 4. Like, we're not doing that, okay? You're going to leave it in terms of pi. In the future, we will multiply by pi on our calculator second semester. But for now, 6 pi. That's what I want. Yeah? Do you have to write the C every time? No, you don't. Like, you don't have to do this. I got you if you do it like that. Um, Kara? Yes, you can use pi D. Yes. All right. The circumference of a circle is 24 meters. Find the radius. All right, so we're going to start with the formula. What do I plug in for C, you guys? Everyone? Yeah, so we're going to replace this with 24. It's weird, but they're giving us the circumference. Find the radius. So you guys, if I'm trying to isolate R, how do I get rid of this, everyone? Yeah, you can actually divide by 2 pi at the same time. All right. And we can reduce part of this. So again, I'm not going to have you multiply uh, 2 by 3.14 and then do some decimal division. That would be a real pain. All right, so you don't have to do that. You can leave this as 12 over pi. Everyone see how I got 12? Okay, two goes into that. All right, and then we do need units. Radius is still just in meters. All right, so technically that would be 12 divided by 3.14 ish, okay, to get your answer. Yes? Let's see. We would, yeah, you would divide by two, right? So let's say you did pi d and you divided this. Well, you still need. The radius, right? And so you'd have to still be like, oh, the diameter is two is twice three. You'd still have to divide by two. Yeah, because you'd want to replace that since you're finding R. All right. Okay, here's another perimeter problem. Uh, where I see people mess up is they count the dashed lines. Don't count the dashed lines, right? That's just showing you it's a circle <laughs> or a halvesy circle, okay? So let's see if we can figure this out. Um, so we need to find like this entire distance here. So someone raise your hand and tell me if you know what it is. Um, Knox. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. So I know this is 14 because I have 6 plus 4 plus 4. These are all the radiuses, even though it put it here, that's still 4, that's still 4. All right, so I got 14. All right, somebody different, raise your hand and tell me what this distance is here. Who I haven't, Jeremiah. 10, okay? So I have a 5 plus a 5. All right, now be really careful that you don't overcount anything. We are only tracing the outside. So I need a 10. I'll start here. I need a 14, all right? And then I've got a half circle. A lot of people mess this up too because they do 2 pi r, right? So 2 pi r would be the entire circle around. You need to do divided by 2, all right? And I would prefer you actually show it like this, even though the 2s cancel. I know that's really annoying. And then we are going to plug in a 5 right here. So that half circle is going to be 5 pi, okay? That 5 pi represents this distance here. All right, now I have plus 6. And then I'm kind of running out of room, but plus another half circle, and I only want the outside, right? I'm not adding these together, just this outside part. So I have another 2 pi r, but I'm going to go ahead and plug in the 4, divided by 2. And so that one's going to be a 4 pi to represent that half circle. All right, so now I've got 10 plus 14 plus 6. I'm going to add the 6 and the 14 first because that's 20, plus the 10 is 30. And you guys, you can add pi's together. That's a 5 pi plus a 4 pi, and I do want the number in front at the very end, even though when you're plugging it in, it's in the back, all right? So that's a 5 pi plus a 4 pi, which is 9 pi. And then it's super important that you put parentheses around this, and then your units. Okay, why does that matter? If you do this, 
it makes it look like only this is in feet. So you like have to do the parentheses when you have the plus pi thing. All right, second semester, we will plug this in. Does this equal 39 pi? No, never add those together, okay? Ever, ever, ever. Multiplication before addition, just leave them separate like that, okay? Don't add them if one ha doesn't have a pi and one does have a pi. All right, let's try whiteboards today. Grab a whiteboard if you have an expo or you can let someone borrow one, that'd be great. I will pass out the ones that I have and let's see how this goes.